Rolling Tin Fist. Good morning, MGTOW, man. I hope you guys are doing good, handling your business, and going your own way. Even if you're married, still try to go your own way mentally, if not physically. We all need that kind of freedom and can benefit for it from it. Today is the last episode in the series, A Woman's Weakness. Today I will be talking about the Wunderlust, which is from the German Wunder, which is to wander, and Lust, Old English, to desire. Women have a constant need to look for the next best thing. Check out Briefort's Law that talks about that on a scientific level. I will put a link to this in the description. Women are never satisfied with where they are. What happens is that as a woman discovers her physical and sexual attributes and the value and return on investment they can provide, she starts going through hypergamy, which is basically looking for a maid of equal or greater value than herself. And that becomes habitual, especially when it starts to work, in that she starts dating maybe a okay guy. He's okay, but then she meets another guy who's either stronger, um, has a bigger car, is a little better groomed. As she moves forward in time, as she matures and she gets uh, her game, a female game down, it becomes addictive because she's used to the benefits. So it becomes a quest of always looking for the next best thing. Instead of a man who can do two bottles of champagne at the club, she's looking for a guy who can do seven bottles of champagne at the club, and so on and so on. So she's never truly satisfied. Which is sad. I mean, I've seen it in action. I've seen women, women I know, relatives, pass up good men. Men that were happily to be blue, provide for them, kiss their ass. But because of this wonderlust, they said, you know what? He's too weak. I'm going to look for more of a bad boy with all that money. And they end up crapping out. They end up getting to a point where they trade down unintentionally. And by then, unfortunately for the, some of these women, they've hit the wall and they're done. It's important for you men out there to realize not to fall into this trap. Don't let it be your weakness. By that I mean, don't put down more resources towards a woman that you feel uncomfortable putting simply because you want to try to retain or control that woman. It never works. It never works. The best thing you can do for yourself is decide beforehand, okay, what's practical for me to do? What am I getting in return from whatever resources I might outlay? For example, if you're going on a date, coffee shop, decide ahead of time, I'm going to pay my way, I'm going to pay her way, or I agree with her, I pay this time, she pays next time. Whatever your arrangement, whatever you decide, the takeaway is don't go broke over a female thinking you're going to keep her. Women, like employers and employees at will, can leave, terminate the relationship at any time and for any, any reason. And it's important that you remember that so that you don't fall into the trap of basically sinking money into something you think you own or is in your possession for a infinite, indefinite period of time, only to see it walk out on your ass. Don't fall into that trap. Back in the day, I've fallen into that trap as well. So definitely don't f fall into that trap. So understand a wanderlust. Use it, to use it to your advantage and have a set amount of resource if you choose to extend to a, towards a woman and have a cutoff point so you protect yourself. Just like with stocks, okay? You can decide you want to buy and then get out of the market at a certain pr price. So have the same approach towards women and resources by understanding their nature of wonderlust.
Do-do-do.